Hey everybody, this is Scott with The Tourist Trap. I am having a hazardous road trip today. I'm doing a little something different uh, that you would not normally see on this channel. Normally I go to restaurants, uh, attractions, Disney, unique, unique shopping, unique restaurants, local areas, stuff you might not know about. But today I am traveling out of the state of Florida over into Georgia to see a very good friend of mine, uh, one of my best friends, uh, at, uh, him out of three other people is the only ones I normally talk to on the phone on a weekly basis. Um, I know a lot of people, I talk to different people all the time, but uh, as far as a close personal friend, uh, you probably already read who this is from the title, but uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, he just called me just a minute ago, and uh, I'm almost there to his house, and uh, we're going to have a good time today, and um, uh, uh, he lives in a, in an area, in a little, in a town here in Georgia, uh, where several southern states come together. Uh, now, that's all I'm allowed to tell you, because, you know, everybody would probably want to go there. Well, folks... We have gone and done it now. We are now entering the state of Georgia. We have crossed that old state line. Oh my goodness. I sure hope we don't run into any speed traps. Uh, that would be pretty bad for the tourist trap to have a speed trap. And uh, I am doing almost 70 miles an hour here. That is the limit. So uh, never know, I might, I might kick it up a notch. Well, I sure am glad to be in, uh, in Georgia. I'm uh, getting very close uh, to uh, my location, where I'm going to be, and uh, meet up with my good friend of uh, 26 years. I've been friends with this gentleman. Uh, he's like a second father to me. And uh, I did uh, kick it up a notch here because I'm, I'm in a hurry. I want to get there. Uh oh, oh, oh my goodness, I uh, see the boys in blue are on my tail. I'm gonna have to pull over. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get a ticket. Oh no, pull over. Gotta pull over. Oh darn it. I don't think I was going very, very much over 80, I don't think. But uh, we're gonna have to pull over. What well, does look like the long arm of the law has got me. Oh my goodness, I've been pulled over here. Where are you going in such a hurry, boy? I, uh, oh my goodness, I ain't gonna get a ticket, am I? Yeah, well, let me see your license manifest, boy. I'm gonna put you under the jail, boy. <laughs> Is this Scott Dickinson? <laughs> I'm gonna put you out of the jail and throw away a key. <laughs> we, we don't know how this is gonna turn out, folks, so uh, don't go to the refrigerator now. I am tired. I'm I, I am tired. I'm I finally got to sit down here with my friend Sonny Schroyer. I've known for 26 years. 26 years. Can you believe that? 26 years. That's a long time. 13, 13 is 26. Wow. Now I met you in uh, Hazard County, didn't I? <laughs> we ain't gonna. No say. Hazard, Kentucky. No, 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 no. It wasn't Hazard. Portsmouth, Ohio. Oh, at the Roy Rogers Festival. Roy Rogers Festival. You're kidding? Is that where we met? It was met? a long time ago. I thought it uh, was in uh, Hazard, Kentucky. No, no. Originally Hazard, Kentucky. No, no, no. It wasn't. No. I thought I met your daddy and mama and you. No, in we Hazard, came. Kentucky. We came down to the Chicken Festival, and at the uh, in London, Kentucky, when you was there. That's when you yeah, first met my mama. Really? Then, yeah. Well, I remember you. Yeah, uh, anyway. Hey y'all. <laughs> We're just kind of reminiscing here, and um, uh, everybody should know who this guy is. He was on the Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah, well, I've changed a lot since uh, I used to be crazy about Daisy. I still am. Hey, Daisy. I love you, baby. Uh, 
We changed it a little bit in the last uh, 30 years or so. So have I. How long has it been? <laughs> oh, you, you didn't change that much. But anyway, anyway uh, yeah, this, it's been a great, great time. Uh, the Dixon Hazard has uh, been mighty good to me. And I, I appreciate Warner Brothers and uh, Guy Waldron. Guy, we love you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> now, one thing about Guy, you already knew Guy. Before, did, did you kind of know him, or he knew I you? Kind of know him. Yeah, I, I interviewed for a Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial uh, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. He went to Georgia. I went to Georgia. And uh, I must have really impressed you, guy, because I never heard from you again, boy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I knew I knew guy uh, a little bit, but that's about it, really. And uh, but Guy is a great guy, and uh, and I, I just want to thank him from the bottom of my heart. I never sent him a birthday card. I never sent him a thank you note. But uh, the guy named Guy is a great guy, and we love you. And and he was the one who, uh, you was the first person cast on the Dukes of Hazard. According uh, to Guy. According to according Guy. According to Guy. According but to the guy. guy's got, you know, he's got to satisfy ten or 12 other people, you know, and if I wasn't the first cast, it was three months before I was, I read, I read for it, and uh, Phil Mandelker said, uh, you took all the fun out of it, and then I said, okay, well, thank you very much, that's where it goes. He said, wait a minute, we're going to do another one, so I, <laughs> I read it just the opposite, and uh, he said that was a good reading, so he took that, and three months later, I was doing a uh, Freedom Road and uh, with Muhammad Ali, Natchez, Mississippi, uh, Natchez, Mississippi, yeah, is that Mississippi? Yeah, Natchez. Anyway, and Muhammad Ali, God bless him. I met Muhammad. I didn't, I didn't know if I like him or not, but uh, I love the man. He was a great, great guy. And uh, Muhammad, your greatest fighter, one of the greatest Americans. We love you. And then you went on to do uh, your own series, Enos. And uh, they had some notable guest stars on there. I think you told me Jay Leno would get a guest appearance on there. <laughs> Jay Leno. <laughs> Jay, Jay Leno, God bless you. <laughs> he was great. He was tied up, you know, and, and, and uh, gagged. And uh, a Turk and I busted in and uh, I removed the gag. And I said, which way did they go? And he said, that, they went that way. And we started running out. And he said, wait, untie me. <laughs> you did a great job, Jay. <laughs> Here it is. Help! What happened? I was invaded by an army of mountain people. That's what happened. Did they get you, Lynn? I guess so. Look, fellas, I didn't have a choice in this. You know that. I got my own family to worry about. Where'd they go? I'm not sure. They said something about the running iron, something like that. Running iron? The running iron is a country and western place on Canyon Road. Right. One will get you three day over there making a little business call. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Appreciate hey! it. Hey! Hey! You got a knife? Wait a minute. I got it. Thanks. Now. Thanks, sir. Then, of course, you had your leading lady, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah. She yeah. made me a popcorn float, man. She was, she was beautiful then and more beautiful now. She gets uh, more more beautiful as she gets older, and uh, we all get older, but she gets more beautiful. Michelle Pfeiffer. Any a, other notable guest I stars know. besides those, too? Oh, yeah. we uh, mm -hmm. L.K. Jones and uh, Bob uh, Lagio, uh, La Lagio, and he, he won an Oscar uh, uh, later on, and... Uh, and uh, Let's see, golly, uh, oh golly, the, the, the great woman in uh, in Titanic. Uh, oh, um, Gloria, Gloria St uh, Stewart? Stewart? Stewart, Gloria Stewart, yeah. yeah, Gloria Stewart, God bless her. And uh, anyway, uh, I remember you told me one time, stars. I remember you told me one time that, uh, I think he was eating at a restaurant out in L.A. and, and uh, James Brown, uh, was asked oh, James Brown. He was wanting on the show. <laughs> oh, James Brown was one of the greatest entertainers of the the whole world. James Brown, and he said, "Sonny," he said, he was at Kentucky, uh, not Kentucky, uh, but a Pioneer Chicken out in uh, 
in uh, Hollywood, uh, uh, Toluca Lake or uh, Burbank, I forget, Burbank, I guess. And uh, he said, you got to get me on your show. Uh, Enos, you know, really, uh, we, we, you got to get me. And we was right in the middle of the show, and I said, I said, James, I said, I said, I'll try, I'll try. And I really did try. I think he would have been wonderful on the show, but you can't just go in right in the middle of the show and put some, Yeah, because they, they, they have those scripts they, written up ahead, right? <laughs> yeah, six months ahead. But anyway, uh, Mr. James Brown, he's got, he's got a great statue of him in Augusta, Georgia. He's uh, just tremendous. We miss James Brown. And uh, Anyway, God bless you, There's buddy. There's so many things that we could talk about over the years. I mean, yeah. my goodness, I have so many things that you forgot or I forgot, and, and well, I'll bring it up, and you'll go, oh, yeah, I remember that. And, yeah, uh, just like that Bush thing. Uh, you yeah. Said, you said Sheriff Roscoe said you was a Bush. And I said, well, I'm supposed to be a Bush. I'm an incognito, you know. Oh, look all right, Sheriff. Oh, you look like a Bush. That's what I'm supposed to look like, Sheriff, a Bush. Good thing there's just, just horses around here. Good, there, good thing there ain't no dogs. <laughs> but I'd forgotten about that. So there's a lot of things you forget about when you're 82 years old. <laughs> Hey, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. <laughs> God bless well, you. Well, I appreciate Sonny sitting down here and talk to me, uh, talk to you guys, and uh, uh, it's a little yeah. day trip for me. I just want to thank everybody for watching Dukes of Hazard because when I put love, Enos, love and God bless Enos. If anybody helps pay for your house or your car or your son's education <laughs> they're your friends and i love you thank you for watching the duke's hazard and the Enos show if you did we appreciate it well this is my little hazardous trip here to <laughs> georgia to meet my my good longtime friend sonny schroyer who well known as enos and the duke's of hazard he's he's good old sonny to me though well the cat police sir <laughs> <laughs> but uh um, Thank you, Scott. You're, you're a very, uh, very talented young man, and I, I wish you a lot of luck in the future. And you've helped me a great deal over the years, and I, I appreciate our friendship. Thank you so much. I appreciate for you saying that, and you always tell me you're proud of me, and, I, and you don't know what that means <laughs> for you to say that. And uh, you're always there for me when I have any kind of question or something. A lot of people ask me. You all talk about Dukes of Hazard? And every time you talk on the phone, no, we don't. We actually don't. Actually, we do. When, no. when I ask him about a certain show, and he's a walking encyclopedia of the Dukes of Hazard, and he probably knows more about Dukes of Hazard than all, all the uh, actors on there combined. I don't know about that, but, but uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's gave me a lot of advice and things of. of people to watch out for they don't you know you have all kinds of business deals and things that go on and bill you know bills you got to pay and they don't get paid and, and uh, he always tells me get their name <laughs> who you talk to because I've, I've come into a few of those like the oil change incident that uh, you told me to get they didn't get the oil change done after two hours so. don't go into that <laughs> yeah, that's a long one <laughs> all right buddy. god bless y'all remember go out there and make it a great day because yeah. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs>